The last night, uh, weather conditions have worsened in our province, uh, particularly here in uh, Etiguini, at least uh, culminating to at least about now 2023. 20, Lives have been lost, with 32 um, uh, around and 32 patients in and around Durban. About uh, 2,000 emergency calls were logged in uh, by Etiquini Disaster Call Center. A massive damage to um, the infrastructure um, has been uh, recorded. From where we stand at the moment, we have reports of collapsed walls, mudslides, as well as roads that have been flooded. Uh, parts of the province are also experiencing power failures due to the water and this <coughs> extreme weather that we are experiencing. Um, our provincial uh, team, um, together with the Teguini Metro and all affected municipality, we are currently have activated all our disaster teams in the province um, to ensure that uh, we reach uh, all our communities wherever they are. We've also since early um, hours of today been responding to um, the rains in other parts of the province. Our purpose here today is to assure our communities that uh, our government is on top of its game and our endeavor to minimize the impact of this storm um, to our residents and businesses. We have now also sourced um, capacity, additional capacity, from Umsunduzi municipality, um, uh, as well as district of Ilembe, um, as well as in the south. Uh, most of the deaths are around the areas of Durban, including Charlesworth, Umlazi, New Germany, um, as well as the Pine Town. Um, New Germany, two kids below the age of seven um, that uh, deceased. The weather is not going to be abating any time soon as uh, the weather services have reported that uh, we will still receive about 60% of rains today and the gale force winds.